Hello students. Our next topic for today is circle theory, which is plane geometry 2. Now today we are going to learn the parts of a circle. So when we consider a circle, okay, if I have a circle, one thing about a circle is the circle has what? Any circle we have has a center, what we call a center. Now from the center O of a circle to the circumference of the circle. This is what we call circumference. This is what we call the circumference. Now, from the center to the circumference of a circle is what we call the radius. Okay? This is what we call the radius. Now, from any point, you have the center of a circle to... Suppose you want to draw a circle. You open your compass to a required radius. Now, if you should open your compass to a required radius and draw the circle, it means that the circle has an equal length all around it. But if you should change the radius of the circle, it doesn't become a circle again. So, one characteristic we can say about a circle is that from the center to the circumference, it is equal in length, which is the radius is always equal. So at any point in time, I should draw another line here to this point. This line should be equal to this line. If I should draw another line here, this line is equal to this line. This line is equal to this line. So this is what we call the radius. So the radius is always equal in length from the center to the circumference of the circle. Now when we have a circle, we can have what we call a chord. Now, assuming this is P and this is Q. Now, we realize that PQ is a chord. This is a chord. Okay? PQ is a chord. Now, if PQ is a chord, we can have what we call, if this is the center O of the circle, this is what we call a diameter. A diameter. Now, a diameter is a straight line which divides the circle into two equal parts. So assuming this is the center, this is the upper part and the lower part, but the diameter divides it into two equal parts. So if we have a chord, this is the lower segment, you have the lower, and this is the upper segment, okay? So, or the lower sector, upper sector. For any circle, we, have, we can talk about the circumference, we can talk about a chord, a chord can be an imaginary chord, or just a normal chord I've drawn here. So this is a chord. PQ is a chord. Now, I can also draw a chord this way. A circle, if I have a circle, this is a chord. 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 Even a diameter is also a chord because it runs from one end of the circle to the other. So any straight line that can move from one point of the circle to the other point is what we call a chord. So, from here, we know that for any circle, we have what we call the center of the circle. We also have this as the circumference. This is the radius of a circle. We can also talk about the diameter. We can also talk about a chord. Okay? And what have you? We have the lower sector, upper sector, lower segment, upper segment, and so on and so forth. So, these are the parts of a circle. Now, we are going to use this to learn about our circle theorems. So, students should always keep in mind the parts of a circle because in our theorems, we shall be learning how to write them using these parts of the circle. So, we shall start with the first theorem. 